my channel. Thank you so much for being here. And if you're new here, hello. My name is Ashley. I run things here at Oak Crow Gal. And I don't think I can film these video this video with these glasses on. They are prescription, but I didn't get the anti-glare on these because um, they were super cheap and I wanted to keep it that way. And they're like super glary in the camera, so I'm not gonna wear them. Um, Y'all, this past week was crazy. I have, I feel like I've mi been missing you guys because I didn't post a grocery haul last week and all the videos that I had go up were like pre-filmed or were from the my what I eat was from Monday. So I feel like I haven't picked up the camera in a long time. Um, if you don't want to hear me rant about this past week, there will be a timestamp down below. I will not judge you. You can jump right into the haul. That's totally fine. Um, but... Long story short, I filmed my 60-day keto wrap-up video, uh, and it disappeared. I have no idea where, where, what happened to it. Um, I think when I moved all of my videos, because I have to do that every now and then, I have to move them onto a hard drive because my computer doesn't have a lot of space. Somehow it disappeared, so I have to refilm that. Daisy's been sick. Um, I finally took her to the doctor on Thursday because her fever got up to like 102, and she has an ear infection. Not to mention that I don't know if it's the ear infection. She also has a like a pretty nasty cough, like phlegmy cough. So I don't know if it's like the cough, the ear infection, or just toddler life. But she has been on one the past like three days. And it's been really, really hard. I'm sure the moms out there that have experienced the toddler phase will understand. But guys, I was like crying this morning. <laughs> like it, it's just been really hard she's just being really defiant she's like purposely doing things she's not supposed to do and she knows that she's not supposed to be doing it um it's just been really really hard and now i'm starting to get sick so it has been a freaking week and i kind of just can't wait to get like back into a rhythm honestly this is gonna sound weird but filming my grocery haul is like part of my week and I didn't do it last week and I just I'm ready to like get back into a routine and I think that starts with filming my grocery haul I know that seems weird but it's something that I regularly do and um honestly it kind of just like I feel like it gets me ready for the week um filming all of my groceries and then it makes it I just, usually after I film all this stuff, I jump right into meal prepping for the week, and I don't know, it's just like part of that well-oiled machine, you know, on a Sunday, getting ready for Monday, getting ready for the week, and I'm just ready to like jump back in. So, um, today y'all, I went to Walmart and Trader Joe's. I did the Walmart grocery pickup again. It went really well. Um, they, I was kind of bummed because they had to make a couple substitutions, um, I'll show you the actual substitutions I ended up keeping like as I'm going through the stuff, but they didn't have the bars I want the want one bars that I wanted and they wanted to substitute quest bars, which I don't like quest bars. So I passed on that and then oh, I was going to get Daisy these like muffin snack muffin things and they didn't have the flavor that she liked, so I was kind of bummed about that, so I had to pass on that. Um that so that was a bummer, but they do make it really easy like you just say you don't want it and they take it off your bill. So Let's go ahead and jump into it. I'm gonna show you guys my list, then I'll show you my haul, and I will tell you how much I spent. Ugh. All right, y'all, here is my list for the week. Everything in a box, everything that's boxed is stuff that I got at Trader Joe's. Everything that has a like red line through it is Walmart. So we have produce, we have frozen, um, we have meat, drinks, um, dairy, what is this, aisle stuff. Then for dinners this week, I'm making pigs in a blanket and salad, southern baked chicken with cauliflower mash, chicken chili. Uh, Wednesday, I'm gonna be gone, so Cernan's on his own. Thursday, we're probably gonna eat out keto, but eat out, I won't be cooking. And then Friday, I put pre-marinated meat and Brussels, but I'm gonna have extra, probably extra chicken and extra chicken chili. So I kind of like scratched that idea and I'm just gonna like do leftovers on Friday. Um, yeah, so that's my list for the week. All right, so let's start with produce. We're gonna start with everything I got from Walmart first. So I got some green onions, cilantro, two avocados. Um, then in Frozen, I got, I ordered two bags of the Great Value broccoli, but they didn't have that, so they gave me the Steam Fresh one for the same price, which was nice. Um, I picked up this for Daisy. It's um, fettuccine Alfredo vegetable pasta. 
Um, you guys know I've been trying to get her to eat more vegetables lately, and while I'm still doing that, I'm also just trying to get her out of her box of like four things she likes to eat for dinner. Uh, and I'm kind of in a mode now where like, I'm just gonna put it on her plate, and if she eats it, she eats it. If she doesn't, she doesn't. So um, I'm definitely gonna be experimenting a little bit more. I also kind of wanna get to a place where um, she's eating what we're eating, so we'll see how that goes, but I feel like this this is what we're gonna start with, some, some veggie pasta. Um, all right, y'all. I picked one of these up midweek last week when Daisy and I were just like roaming the aisles at Walmart, and I could not believe how good, great this tasted. It's the uh, mashed cauliflower by Bird's Eye. This is the sour cream and chives one. They also have a plain and a roasted garlic. Guys, this is amazing. Now, I guess technically it wouldn't be true keto because while it's only five net carbs, it does have three grams of sugar. Um, this has kind of pushed me to do some research about consuming sugar while on keto. And essentially, if you're not having it like consistently through the day and it's not you know taking over every single meal um it doesn't seem like it's a big issue it won't throw you out of ketosis and like three different articles that i read said just take the sugar and add it to your carb count um so i totally understand this is not like a true tried and true like keto option because it does have the added sugar i don't really care because it's still a better option than eating mashed potatoes and y'all, I could not get over the texture, the flavor. Uh, these are amazing. So I picked up two boxes of those. It's definitely not something that I'm going to make be like a regular part of my grocery shopping. Um, but every once in a while, I think it's completely appropriate. And um, this happens to be that once in a while. So let's go ahead and move on over to dairy. We have cheese on cheese on cheese. So let's start with eggs. I got... 36 eggs, which I know seems insane, but between Cernan, Daisy, and myself, plus recipes that I'm going to be making that include eggs, this is what we need. We need 36. So I got two things of eggs. I got a large heavy whipping cream. Again, I asked for the organic. They didn't have it, so they gave me this one, which, whatever, it's fine. Um, snack cheese for Cernan and I. I got three blocks of cream cheese. I'm doing a lot of a couple of recipes this week that call for cream cheese, so I kind of needed to stock up. Um, sliced cheese. This is for Daisy mainly for sandwiches and quesadillas. I got two things of mozzarella and two things of the Fiesta blend. Oh no, a Fiesta blend and then the um, Colby and Monterey Jack. All right, on to aisle items. I got two things of fruit for Daisy. Um, I got the, oh, please tell me this is the one with stevia. Yes, okay, stevia and monk fruit. I got the um, peaches for her and mandarin oranges. So this one is just in juice and this one is in stevia. So um, no like aspartame or sucralose or cane sugar or anything. Um, a huge thing of applesauce for her. I got these fig bars. This was another replacement. I had bought one that was on clearance and it was just fig. It wasn't flavored with anything but apparently they didn't have that. They gave me the clearance price and then just gave me the raspberry. Um, I like these because in each pack there are two little bars. They're almost like Fig Newtons, but they're just like bulkier. Um, so it's perfect because she can eat one, I can save the other and it works out. I got these, I've never had the Wisps before. Um, I've had many a Cheese Crisp, but I've never had this brand and I really liked that it was Pepper Jack. Um, we're really into spice, so I'm interested to try those. I got a thing of pork rinds. This is for a recipe. Um, two things of chicken broth, refried beans for Daisy to try. I mean, she's had them before, but um, again, just trying to spice it up a little bit. Um, a thing of green chilies and some cayenne. Onto the meat from Walmart, we have two things of ground beef chuck for the taco salads. Um, this is these are 80 20. Um, I'm making the pigs in a blanket. So I got the Applegate Naturals, like all natural, no preservatives, no antibiotics, yada, 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 hot dogs. Hot dogs kind of, I don't want to say they skeeve me out, but I definitely will pay up for hot dogs that are like all natural. Um, just because I'd rather have ones that like don't have any fillers and stuff like that. And then I picked up some ground pork. And then lastly from Walmart, Iced coffee for me, Diet Dr. Pepper for Cernan. I've said this multiple times. If Walmart would just freaking carry like 
Zevia or you know some type of soda that didn't have aspartame, I would buy it. But I would have I have to go to a completely other a whole other store just to get him Zevia, and I didn't feel like doing that today. He's not like a soda fiend. He has one with dinner every night, so it's not the end of the world. Um, but I really wish like Trader Joe's or Walmart would just get on the Zevia train so that I could just get that. Um, but this week it's Diet Dr. Pepper. All right, now we're gonna jump over to Trader Joe's. Oh my God. This isn't even a lot of dishes, but this is driving me insane. Daisy's paint aftermath from this morning. Um, all right, I got two things of flowers. Uh, Meat-wise, I got some bacon, um, chicken thighs, and then two things of drumsticks. Produce, we have three bags of the butter, lettuce, and radicchio for those taco salads. Um, some Brussels, two bags of sh shredded cabbage because I don't want to have to do that myself. Um, some diced onions, jalapenos, tomatoes. Um, then I picked up these for Daisy, um, the peanut puffs, as well as these. Um, these are the Cinnamon School Book cookies. These were kind of to replace the muffins that they were out of stock at, at Walmart. Um, Dairy-wise, I just got yogurt for days. Um, I picked up these were the bars that I wanted to get at Walmart. Um, I've never had the birthday cake, but I got two birthday cake and two cookie dough. Um, these are kind of just things we like to have in the pantry on like the off occasion that we are not home to eat lunch. A lot of times Daisy and I are out and I'm not gonna bring a taco salad with me. So um, I have been throwing one of these in my purse just in case. Um, I'd rather do that than be starving and eat something bad. Um, so. Got four of those, and then beverages is the last thing. A sparkling water for Daisy, my good old Charles Shaw 399 Rosé, and then I picked up the Lagrangia um, Cava this week. So that was everything that I got this week, and that's a lot, I feel like that's a lot of food. Um, luckily, a lot of the things that I'm gonna be making are gonna have leftovers. Like, there's gonna be extra hot dogs, there's gonna be, extra ground pork, um, the chicken, the chip, like a lot of this stuff's gonna have leftovers, which I'm hoping will um, be stuff I can pull out for next week so that my bill next week can be a little bit lower. So I spent 95 at Walmart and 70 at Trader Joe's. So I spent 165 total, um, which y'all know uh, 150 is my limit and I like to usually be around like 130, 140. So it's definitely more than I like to spend. Um, but that's just what happened this week. Again, I'm gonna count on those leftovers kind of pulling me through to next week and maybe next week I can be under budget. Um, I also wanna mention before I go that the last haul that I posted, um, I had talked about making the Keto Connect bread. Um, I made it and it was amazing. Absolutely amazing. It's not sandwich bread. They tout it as like sandwich bread. They have many other recipes in their cookbook where they say like, Oh, a turkey bacon club and use that bread. I didn't find it to be sandwich bread. The consistency, the width of it, like the size of the actual loaf, it wasn't like the height and width of bread. You couldn't really put things on it. Um, but I would have a slice of it with my eggs in the morning with some peanut butter on it. And y'all, it is so good. So I will link that below. I also made their lemon chicken recipe. Oh, so good butter and lemon and just like onions and goodness it was amazing so I will also link that below I'm pretty sure they have YouTube videos on both of those recipes um, but I'm just passing the word along because I was really impressed with both of those um, so yeah guys that is my haul for the week I I'm still like plugging along with my three videos a week you'll definitely get three videos this week um, and yeah, if you're not subscribed, subscribe. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And the comment section has been on fire lately and I love it. I say that frequently, but I just love it. I feel like my channel is getting to a point where like people are interacting, people are commenting, asking questions, giving tips. And I just, it makes me so happy. I just love it. So definitely drop me a comment. Um, down below if you feel so inclined. And I will catch you guys on Wednesday in my next video. Bye friends.